Venice opens big, while other festivals deliberately program no-hopers for their gala openings, Venice leads from the front. In recent years, the openers on the Lido have included La La Land, Birdman and Gravity. As a result, the festival has charged ahead of its rivals, Toronto and Telluride, in the start to the awards season. Downsizing is Alexander Payne's first film in competition here, after getting six Oscar noms for his last, Nebraska. It's a big concept, about going small. Originally developed between Sideways, 2004, and The Descendants, 2011, it's also his first venture into sci-fi. In the future, a simple medical technique has been developed to make people tiny, just five inches high, if they so choose. At this size they virtuously consume less of the world's resources and, moreover, if they have big world savings, become immediately rich, relatively speaking, able to live in vast, to them, mansions, in specially designed micro-worlds, like Leisureland. Similar to current retirement communities in the States. Are every man transported into this grotesque yet almost identical micro world is Paul Safranek, Matt Damon, convincingly dumb. Unfortunately, at the very last minute, his wife Audrey, Kristen Wig, decided not to join him, after he had already been shrunk. A year later, tiny Paul has literally to climb onto the divorce papers to sign them. Alexander Payne's subject ever since about Schmidt, 2002, has been men of a certain age, feeling out of place in the world, a bit pathetic even, as Paul's ebullient small Serbian gangster neighbor Dusan, brilliant Christoph Waltz, tells him. Here he has outdone himself in realizing that sense of displacement. Can Paul find meaning to his life at that size? Perhaps through tiny but overpowering Vietnamese refugee Ngoc Lan. Hong Chao. A wizard idea, downsizing is often very funny and deadpan, but it develops its concept lazily, abandoning its initial satire for heartfelt sentiment. Payne is a good enough director not to need to divert so far from the real world. When once you have thought of big men and little men, it is very easy to do all the rest, Dr. Johnson claimed about Gulliver's travels. Not true then, not true now.